Aditya Aquatic Solutions Leaders in Water and Energy Solutions Founded in 2007 by an individual Our company first achieved success in rainwater conservation and continues to lead in fulfilling the requirements of customers in water purification, wastewater recycling and solar power. Moreover, our company holds the pride of being the only one in Southeast Asia to own an experience center for water and power. Also, a pioneer company in satisfying the requirements of customers by discovering innovative technology. Let's see how we can efficiently save natural resources like rainwater and solar power. Rain is nature's gift of abundance we should be ever grateful for. Our food depends on seasonal rains and hence rain becomes our life source. It's high time we preserved this nature-given boom. By efficiently managing both rainwater and electricity, we can set the base for a sustainable way of living. Aditya Aquatic Solutions is proud to present the technology that is required to achieve rainwater and power saving. For instance, Wamatu receives an annual rainfall of 750 mm on an average. And if this rainwater is conserved and reused, there wouldn't be any question about water scarcity anymore. The rainwater that falls on your terrace is collected and carried by these drain pipes. To purify the water, filters enabled with centrifugal force technology are deployed. The debris is drained through another pipe. With the help of these filters, 250 microns of purified water are carried to the sump. You can get these rainy filters depending upon your requirements. FL80, FL150, FL500, FL300. These filters will be fixed in the drain pipes surrounding the house. When the rainwater fills the sump, the excess water when reaching the overflow pipe automatically begins to recharge the bore well. When the bore well is recharged, the water is diverted to the harvesting pit. The water that flows above the ground level reaches the harvesting pit. Not even a single drop of water that falls above the house and within the compound is wasted and meticulously conserved for consumption. Transferring Rainwater to Supply Sump The water in the rainwater collection tank is sent to the supply sump. Then, the water is taken to the overhead tank from the supply sump. These actions are performed by the transfer pumps. Such transfer pumps can be bought according to your needs. AP Pump SP Pump SB Pump Firstly, the water from the rainwater collection tank is taken through the transfer pump and sent for second level filtration through this 5 micron bag. These bag filter models can be bought according to your needs. 5 micron, 25 micron, 50 micron. Then, it is sent to the supply tank. Through the transfer pump in this supply sump, the purified water first goes through bag filtration and UV filtration process. Through this process, germs are killed and the water is sent to the overhead tank. When the overhead tank fills, this float identifies it and stops the water filling. When the water in the supply sump reduces, during the season of water scarcity, the RO unit recognizes it and first initiates to use the corporation water. When that too is not available, it purifies the water in your bore and fills in the supply sump. The bore water in the overhead tank through this pipe reaches the RO unit.
RO filter purifies the bore water and fills the regular usage tank up to 25%. Because in case it rains or corporation water arrives, filling up the tank 100% will cause water wastage and this technology helps to prevent it efficiently. Overhead tank to house The water in the overhead tank travels through this pipe and reaches the pressure pump. Again, through another pipe, pressurized cold water comes out. You can buy the pressure pump models depending on your requirements. Scalar 1, Scalar 2, CM Booster, CMBE, CRE. The cold water from this pipe is split in two pipes where one is used for residential purposes and the other reaches the heat pump and is heated for water requirements. These heat pumps are available in models according to your requirements. 300 litres, 455 litres, 150 litres, 180 litres, 80 litres. Later, the hot water in the heat pipe travels through one pipe and the cold water through another pipe reaches for our usage. This water reaches the wash basin, bathtub, bathroom and kitchen. After our use is over, the water flow is stopped there. The water in the hot water pipe loses its heat as time passes. To prevent it from losing its heat, it reaches the recirculation pump through another pipe. This water sent to the heat pump is recirculated and is heated. These recirculation pumps are available in models according to your needs. Magna UPS UPA The temperature meter that follows the recirculation pump identifies the flow of hot water in the pipe and stops the recirculation pump. After that, we can use the hot water that flows from the water heater as usual. This ensures that we get hot water every time we open the pipe. Water wastage can be completely prevented. Wastewater Treatment The wastewater from your washing machine and your bathtub through this drain pipe is sent to the treatment tank. The first tank collects the wastewater. Through overflow, water is then sent to the equalization tank and aeration tank. At this stage, water is purified with the use of dissolved oxygen. This purified water is collected in settling tank through overflow gets pre-filtered in filter feed tank and is sent to the treated water tank. Then, this water is directly used for irrigational purposes. Depending on the consumer requirements, the water will be additionally filtered and the water can be used in the toilet flushes. Swimming pool Since people like swimming pool with hot water, here's a technology that facilitates it. The water sucked by the suction pumps in the four corners of the swimming pool is taken straight to the pool heating pump and goes to the pool as hot water. This way, warm water swimming pools can be enjoyed. Solar Power The electricity gained from solar power through solar panel reaches the inverter. From there, it is sent to the distribution box. The electricity obtained from this is used to operate the lights,
फ्रिज वॉशिंग मशीन एंड ए सी इन योर हाउस एंड ऑल्सो टू रिचार्ज योर इलेक्ट्रिक कार एंड बाइक द इलेक्ट्रिसिटी गेन फ्रॉम सोलर एनर्जी बिसाइड फुलफिलिंग रेसिडेंशियल रिक्वायरमेंट इज सेंट टू द ग्रिड वेन देर इज मोर रिक्वायरमेंट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिसिटी ड्यूरिंग द नाइट पावर इज टेकन बैक फ्रॉम द ग्रिड फॉर रेसिडेंशियल यूज For instance let's assume that you consume 20 units of electricity per day if you have installed 5 kilowatt solar panel you can produce 20 units of electricity in the daytime even if 5 units of electricity is consumed remaining 15 units can be given to the grid again during the night time when there is more requirement of electricity we can use the 15 units that was sent to the grid in the daytime if your electricity consumption is this way there wouldn't be any necessity to pay electricity bills hybrid technology this is a battery enabled hybrid technology as usual the electricity gained from solar energy and wind energy is sent to the inverter and through the distribution box is used for residential purposes besides the electricity that's required for residential purposes the remaining electricity charges this battery after the battery is charged remaining electricity is sent to the grid During night time the power is obtained from the grid During power cuts the electricity saved in the battery can be used for residential purposes This way There won't be power cuts throughout 24 hours. Let's be responsible citizens by using our natural resources mindfully. Let's prevent global warming and save our earth. To experience this facility, visit Aditya Aquatic Solutions, 36 Adrishta Lakshmi Garden, behind Government Women's ITI, Metaparlem Road, GN Mills Post, Coimbatore, 6410290. Or visit www.adityaaqua.com.